Hey there, science fans. Let's talk about something you use almost every day, petrol. You probably know it as gasoline. It's the fuel that powers most of our cars, trucks, and even some airplanes. But have you ever wondered where this vital liquid comes from and how it's made? Petrol doesn't just magically appear at the pump. It begins its journey as crude oil, a raw, unrefined fossil fuel found deep beneath the Earth's surface. This crude oil is a mixture of hydrocarbons, molecules made up of hydrogen and carbon atoms linked together. Our task is to refine this crude oil to extract the valuable petrol that powers our world. Buckle up as we embark on an exciting journey from the depths of oil wells to the sophisticated world of oil refineries. We'll uncover the secrets behind transforming crude oil into the familiar fuel that keeps us moving. Get ready to explore the science behind each step, from extracting crude oil from the earth to the final product that powers our vehicles. Let's get started. Our journey begins with crude oil, a thick black liquid often called black gold. It forms over millions of years from the remains of ancient marine organisms buried under layers of sediment. Heat and pressure transform these remains into the energy-rich substance we call crude oil. To access this buried treasure, we drill wells deep into the earth, sometimes thousands of feet below the surface, both on land and offshore. Once we reach the oil reservoir, we pump the crude oil to the surface. It's a complex and technologically challenging process, but it's just the first step. The extracted crude oil is then transported to refineries, often through a vast network of pipelines or by massive tanker ships. Refineries are like giant kitchens where crude oil is transformed into usable products. Get ready because things are about to get interesting as we dive into the heart of the refining process. Welcome to the refinery where the real magic happens. The first step is to remove impurities from the crude oil like salt, water, and sediment. This process is called desalting. Think of it as giving the crude oil a good cleaning before we move on to the main event, fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is like sorting a jar of mixed nuts by size. We heat the crude oil in a tall tower called a distillation column. As the oil heats up, it vaporizes. Different components of the crude oil boil at different temperatures, so they rise to different levels in the column. Lighter components, like gasoline, have lower boiling points and rise to the top. Heavier components, like diesel fuel and asphalt, have higher boiling points and stay lower down. We collect the different fractions at different levels, effectively separating the crude oil into its valuable components. Section 4, Refining 201, Cracking and Reforming the Molecules. After fractional distillation, we have separated the crude oil based on boiling points. But we're not done yet. We still need to further refine these fractions to create high-quality petrol. That's where cracking and reforming come in. Cracking involves breaking down larger, heavier hydrocarbon molecules into smaller, lighter ones. We do this by using heat and catalysts, special materials that speed up chemical reactions. Think of it as splitting a large pizza into smaller slices. Reforming, on the other hand, rearranges the structure of hydrocarbon molecules to improve their properties. This process can boost the octane rating of petrol, which is a measure of its resistance to knocking or premature combustion in an engine. Section 5. The finishing touches blending and quality control. We're in the home stretch now. After cracking and reforming, we have a variety of refined hydrocarbon streams. The next step is blending, where we mix these streams in precise proportions to create petrol with specific properties. Think of it like a chef, combining ingredients to create a perfect dish. We carefully adjust the blend to achieve the desired octane rating, vapor pressure and other important characteristics. We also add special ingredients like detergents and anti-knock agents to enhance petrol's performance and protect our engines. Before petrol can be sold at the pump, it undergoes rigorous quality control testing. We check its octane rating, density, color and other properties to ensure it meets industry standards and environmental regulations. Section 6. Fueling the Future, Sustainability, and Beyond As we enjoy the benefits of petrol, it's essential to consider its environmental impact. The extraction, refining, and combustion of petrol all contribute to greenhouse gas emissions, which contribute to climate change. However, the oil and gas industry is continuously working to minimize its environmental footprint. We're exploring new technologies to reduce emissions from refining processes, and we're investing in renewable energy sources like solar and wind power. 
We're also researching and developing alternative fuels, such as biofuels, hydrogen and electricity, to power our vehicles in a more sustainable way. The future of fuel is evolving, and it's an exciting time to be part of the transition to a cleaner, more sustainable energy future. By understanding the science behind petrol production and embracing innovation, we can continue to power our world while protecting our planet for generations to come. Stay curious, my friends.